Hello YouTube world, my name is Ray and welcome to Staying Serene. Today I'm going to be sharing a book review on The 7 Habits of Highly Effective Teens by Sean Covey. So I'm going to be sharing with you what I think about this book, why I like it, and why I think you should purchase it. So let's get right into this book review. Question number one, why did I buy this book? Actually, this book was actually bought for me by my mother around 6th or 7th grade. So she bought this for me just so that I could just read it and get all the understanding and knowledge that's in it. And this book is actually the updated edition with a new introduction. So my mother repurchased this book for us after I lost my original book in Hurricane Dorian. So she just wanted, just wanted us, me and my brothers, to just read it and to just become better, becoming better as teenagers and just as people in general. So that is why I bought this book. It was bought for me by my mother. Okay, question number two. What is this book about? Well, like always, we're going to go turn to the back side and read the back summary. Imagine you had a road map, a step-by-step -step guide to help you get from where you are now to where you want to be in the future. Your goals, your dreams, your plans, they are all within your reach. You just need the tools to help you get there. That's what Sean Covey's landmark book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens, has been to millions of teens a handbook of self-esteem and success. Now updated for the digital age, this classic book applies the timeless principles of the seven habits to the tough issues and life-changing decisions teens face. In an entertaining style, Kobe provides a simple approach to help teens improve self-image, build friendships, resist peer pressure, achieve their goals, and get along with their parents, as well as tackle the new challenges of our time like cyberbullying and social media. In addition, this book is stuffed with cartoons, clever ideas, great quotes, and incredible stories about real teens from all over the world. An indispensable book for teens as well as parents, teachers, counselors, or any adult who works with teens. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens has become the last word on surviving and thriving as a teen and beyond. So this book is basically a teenage success guide and it basically shares with you the seven habits that highly effective teens should have. And so it's based on the seven habits of highly effective people. So it shares with you those habits, why you should have them in your life, and how to apply them to your life. So I find that's a very good success guide and just sharing with you how to overcome the challenges that teenagers commonly face. Okay then, so question number three. What do I like about this book? Well, I actually like the fact that it's actually targeted to teenagers. So I just love the fact that it's very relatable and relevant. All the advice is just fresh and just basically for teenagers just like you and me. It also includes wonderful stories about teenagers all over the world and how they apply the seven habits to their own lives. Just giving you an inside look on how to do that as a busy teenager. I also just love the format of the book. It is a very entertaining and engaging book. You know, Sean Covey includes his own personal stories from his life. There's a bunch of encouraging, wonderful quotes that are it's filled with quotes. And it also has very fun drawings. So I found the whole style of the book to be very entertaining and engaging. I really just enjoyed reading it. It was such a delight to just read because of all the fun stuff that was just all throughout the book. And it does do a really good job of just encouraging you to apply these seven habits into your life every day. At the end of every chapter, you will find a baby step section, which is just giving you a bite-sized list of actions that you can do to practice this habit into your life every single day. So I just found that really helpful in just encouraging me to put this habit into action. Another thing that I found helpful was at the end of the book, there's actually some discussion questions. So if you're in a book club or in just a discussion group or you're just reading with someone else, you can discuss the, the, you, you can discuss the questions that are found at the end of the book and just to give you just further insight and understanding. Another thing is that at the back of the book, there is a list of resources that have to deal with some of the circumstances and situations that teenagers face that were mentioned all throughout the book. So that is also something very helpful as you're reading the book. So now we're going to go into question number five. What is one of my favorite quotes from this book? And as I said earlier, there is just so many wonderful quotes in this book. Like each chapter has about five or six different quotes. And so I'm not going to tell you what my favorite quote is. I'm going to tell you what my favorite habit is, okay? And my favorite habit is habit number three, which is put first things first. You know, I found that in my last semester of college, which was also in my first year of college, that I really was procrastinating a lot and wasting just so much time. I found myself doing a lot of my homework assignments at the very last minute. 
I was just super stressed and I didn't really give out my best work because of the fact that I was always procrastinating. And habit number three, put first things first, really reminded me that I need to make time for time management and to do those things that matter to, my, to me the most. I need to make time to do those first. So this book was really encouraging in that habit to just put first things first and that is actually the habit that I am working most on in this time especially because my this was actually my first week of online classes and so I'm a college student still and so the habit of put first things first is actually going to be something that I'm going to be focusing on for the next year to get better and better with my time management and my productivity. There's seven habits and I just share with you my favorite habit out of the seven. Okay then the last question who do I recommend this book for? I actually recommend The Seven Habits of Highly Effective Teens for every young person and every teenager, especially my students, whether you're in high school or college. There's just so many things that this could, book can help you on. So I just want to encourage every teenager out there to purchase this book. The habits are pretty universal and I think they can be applied to anyone. So I just really think that it's a very good book for any teenager just to have in their arsenal and just to apply these wonderful habits into their very own lives. Okay then, and I want to share with you my reminder when you're reading this book. This is my bonus section. Okay, so my reminder for reading this book is that it's just so easy to pick up this book and it's a great, excellent book. You read it and then you just put it on your bookshelf. You don't apply anything that's in it and your life does not change. And so when I first read this book around seventh grade, that's what I did. I painted the book, I read it, I enjoyed it, and then I just moved on my life with no change whatsoever, not applying certain habits into my own life. And I think that's a really big mistake to make so how did I fix this? You know, it's actually easy for me to slip into procrastination because I did not remember the habit, which is put first things first. So how did I fix this and make sure that I applied it into my life? Well, this year I picked up the book again and I decided to read it. So I read it over. And this time I took my time when I was reading it. I really considered how I could apply every habit into my life, into my schedule. And I really just thought about it and how to just apply it. And so I want to encourage you, if you were to pick up this book, to first of all, take your time to just go through it slowly because this is, you want to gain the knowledge from this book and you want to really apply it to your life. So take it slowly to make sure you understand each and every habit. And I also want to encourage you that if you feel as though you haven't really got it the first time around, you can read, come back to the book and read it again. I found that it was just very helpful in just reminding me of everything that I read the first time around. And it just really just helped me to really want to apply it. So really think about the ways that you can apply these habits habits into your life because these habits are very useful and this is not a book that you just want to pick up and read without just doing anything about what you've learned. You know, I think it's so important for us to learn knowledge but also to act on that knowledge that we have received and learned. So that is my reminder for reading this book. If you want to purchase the book, the link will be in the description box below. I also do have an Instagram account where you could find faith-based encouraging and inspirational quotes that I create myself. Also, I want to remind you, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you in the next one. Okay, bye!